Good afternoon, dweebs. It's me, Reddit Rahim, and today's post is, What Invention Has Done More Harm Than Good? Let's get into it, shall we? The first dude, Fleeky Freaky, says, Popcorn ceiling. Popcorn ceilings? Apparently, some of them have asbestos in it. Who the fuck saw popcorn ceilings and thought, Oh, that looks good. If you go to a hotel room or a motel that has fucking popcorn ceilings, you know someone's been fucking murdered there, and you're in danger, buddy. I bet you the Cecil Hotel has fucking popcorn ceilings. Mr. Power Napper 3000 says, The invention of the extended car warranty for the car I don't have. That is a good one. That is a really bad invention. Extended warranty for my car. That's from fucking 2003. Kiss my ass, buddy. Kiss my ass. You're full of shit. And they call you every day, too. It's the worst part. I don't know what the scam is. I kind of want to find out. Are you aware that you are eligible for an extended warranty for your vehicle? All right, Arctic Cobra says, Polygraph tests. Even its inventor, John Larson, regrets his invention upon realizing how law enforcement would have exploit the average citizen with it. It's not admissible in court, so, you know, I think, I think most people will agree not to put, to put too much weight on the polygraph. It's just good for, like, fucking Vogue and Esquire and stuff videos like that you know racing boom the pleb says those plastic containers that are like crimp plastic stitched welded around the entire edge and it's super thick plastic that will slide yes yes that shit sucks bro especially when your new scissor is inside of them yeah how the fuck are you supposed to get that shit open it's a battle with a knife that stuff is hard bro Maneker says, lobotomy, worst Nobel Prize winner ever. He won a Nobel Peace Prize for that? How can we murder someone without murdering them? If I'm informed correctly, I think if you've gotten uh, a lobotomy when you were young, like I know I've seen interviews of people who got it when they were young, grew old, and somehow to some degree their um, brain healed, right? So if you get it as a kid, you have the possibility to, possibility to recover from it. If you're older, you're basically fucked. It's like they literally did it to people who acted out and showed some personality or anything like vague mental illness. Like, it was so weird, bro. If your child was homosexual or having those type of tendencies, they got them lobotomized. If your wife was acting up, lobotomy. It's so fucked. It's so fucked. The only people who recover from that are younger kids because once you get it when your brain's fully developed, it's done, bro. The idea of it's just disgusting too. A needle through your nose and a hammer tapping on, ugh. Isn't there one through the eye too? One's like a transorbital and then I don't know what the other one is. I should move off of this subject. All right, Bish72 says, the, set, the 24 hour news cycle. I think this is a great answer, great answer. This has sown a lot of division, not just in America, but I think in most countries. And sometimes when there's nothing going on, they hammer on one topic for days and days. Like fucking CNN every time there's a new plane crash, bro. Yeah, this I think this says it best. At a certain point, reporting facts not being the primary goals of such channels. Instead, they report whatever will keep the viewers watching. Works okay for 30-minute news segments when it was 24 hours that ends up over sensationalizing every single story. Yes, that is true. Now news anchors literally lecture to you. Your job is to report the fucking news, not put your opinion in it. State the hard facts, get off the fucking TV, that's what the news should be. But now it's one person bickering with another one, and then the network who owns it has their own agenda, so the arguing side is kicked off, and you get lectured by one person at the end. And you know people get absorbed more and more into their fucking bubbles, and that's why this country is how it is right now, divided as fuck. I'm talking about America, I don't know how the world is, but... Alright, Design Goddess says, they have so much time to fill, they have to make stories bigger to keep you roped in. 24 hours news is going to be our downfall. Half hour every night is enough. Okay. This person, Tuna for me, says, rigged claw machines. Like, seriously, fuck you, I just want my Squidward plush. I'm not gonna lie, bro. As a kid, I wanted a Care Bear, but everyone was like, oh, you're fruity for liking Care Bears. I was like, they're so fucking cute. Montague says, 
When I was a teenager, I worked at an amusement park that had a small arcade attached. I was a ride operator, so I never had anything to do with the arcade. However, they had a policy that employees were not permitted to play with claw machines. I have no idea what the secret strategy is, but one apparently exists. There's a strategy. Uh, Lasting Wonder says, Coffee pods. Even the creator deeply regrets his invention and the environmental impact it has had. Who was the creator? I always thought some asshole at Nestle came up with it. Yeah, makes sense. Bottled stuff and all that. Yeah, it's dumb. But you know how fucking bad water is in some places in this country, bro. Oh my god. But coffee pods, that does seem stupid. It really does. It's like those fucking disposable shaving things that everyone uses now. Like those old school fucking safety razors that are like metal. And you just need to replace the metal blade and can be recycled infinitely. That's good. But the plastic crap that they sell nowadays, fuck that shit. Civ1NK says, data mining and ad delivery services disguised as social media. Oh, wow. I mean, Facebook in general. Okay. Somebody just watched a social experiment. (laughs) Edgar says, pop-up ads. Think of all the malware and viruses that people have fallen victim to because of pop-up ads. Plus, they're just annoying. Even the inventor of them, Apollo. Who invented these things? Do you get money? To be the inventor of a pop-up ad? Is he like a millionaire now? It just seems like one of those inventions that just doesn't get you any money. Alright, Sam in Peace says, Cigarettes, those things ruin my life. I don't smoke them anymore, and I've had to and I've had to resource to other things. Resort, I think. Peer pressure and wanting to fit in is an ass. Yes, yes it is. Again, I think jewel and vaping, same thing. I think, I think it will be looked at as the same thing in 20 to 30 years. Now, there's some old people who just smoke like chimneys in this and miraculously stay alive. It's weird. SR4RII says asbestos. Now people are getting rid of it. Asbestos, if it wasn't cancerous, it's literally like, it's like a miracle thing. They use it in everything. Everything. Tiles, fucking insulation. Obviously ceiling, so... I think it's actually fine, but if you disturb it and get it in the air, you're fucked. But it's better not to have it, I guess. Soft closed toilet seats. Either all toilets should have them or none. The current roulette is too stressful. Let's go. Methamphetamine. Okay, so, um, again, some people. It's still prescribed methods, apparently. Methamphetamines. For profit news, solid answer. Again, they make money off radicalizing their viewer base either liberal or conservative depends on your perspective the cows probably think the mcdonald's speedy system does more harm than good but from our perspective it's revolutionized the fast food industry yeah i guess the question was not really specific (laughs) oh my god cows opinions don't matter it's a moo great hilarious moo point bro moo point (laughs) if you can find it within your heart subscribe like the video if you enjoyed it Please. All right, goodbye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.